Hey there, welcome back or hello if you're new. I'm Dagny. I'm a New York City Argentine tango dancer and teacher. And in today's video, as you can see by the title, we are going over some life updates with my ankle. It's been quite a journey, but if you're here from before my little break, thank you so much for sticking with me. It has been a crazy two months. I just got a new job and it's been super exciting. I'm doing a, a gig in marketing and it's been a ton of fun. I'm doing a lot of artwork and I'm able to rest my feet in the meantime. As you can see, I've had some major um, sad issues, but also happy issues. So if you want to hear about my five year surgery update and some new news, keep on watching. So about five years ago, I had a osteochondritis desiccans lesion in my right ankle, which basically means that I had a huge hole in between the talus and the tibia. So that's in between the ankle uh, joint, so the bone on the bottom of the foot and of the leg. So right in between um, the connecting bit, there was a hole that got worn down from a ton of dancing and martial arts. Unfortunately, it is not uncommon for professional dancers and for athletes to have this type of injury, but I had to completely stop my activities. I had a surgery in 2016 to help re-stimulate the bone around, which was very interesting. What they did was they just created an intentional injury around the damaged site that would encourage my own body's bone cells to refill the hole. So that was five years ago and I am still dealing with the after effects of that. Although I am back to professionally dancing, it has not always been easy. I still do experience pain sometimes and uh, I just learned to be careful, learn to modify my activities, um, but it still makes a scary clicking noise and I know it's not 100%. So. I decided that it was time to go back to the doctor. It was five years and I was kind of, the less that I knew, the better almost, you know, like if there's something wrong, you don't wanna know that there's still something wrong. And so I was very, very hesitant to go back and see if the hole actually filled up because I figured I'm dancing. I don't need to know if the hole didn't actually fill up because I would actually probably be even more sad, but. I got my x-rays about two weeks ago and I decided to do both the left ankle and the right ankle. I am, like I said, dancing professionally and I know for a fact that I have been off shooting, well, since, since the surgery and recovery, I've been off shooting weight to my left leg to compensate with the injury on the right. And I'm sure this is quite common. You know, if you damage one side, you tend to start to compensate with the other. So I figured while I'm at the doctor's office, let me scan both. I got x-rays of both, checked out well. So that was happy. Um, but my doctor wants to make sure that there wasn't anything else going wrong. So I did get two MRIs, one for each ankle. And although the x-ray showed that the uh, bone that was damaged did refill uh, as well as we could have hoped on the right, it still looks a little arthritic, but it's at least no longer a hole. So that was good. Uh, the MRI did reveal that I have a tendon tear on the left, which was really disappointing to hear because I don't know, I remember being incredibly sad. Of course, I was crying outside of the office the first time, but this time I was almost so numb because I was just like, oh, not again, like not, not something else. Fantastic. So it was a little bit difficult to take this new diagnosis that I actually have a tendon tear in the left side, um, but I just, I don't know, I think I've gotten so used to having to take the utmost care of my body being a professional dancer that I'm just like, yep, add it to the list. Something else that's injured, let's go, let's fix it, we could do this. So I guess, you know, my attitude is a little bit better this time, but that does mean that I will have to do something about this tear. And of course my surgeon immediately said, there's nothing you can do, you just have to go to surgery. Uh, it's never gonna repair itself, but I walked into the doctor's office not even knowing that there was something wrong. So I am not experiencing any pain when I'm walking in my daily exercises, but after a few hours of dancing in heels, I was noticing a dull pain on the left side. And it wasn't at all close to the sharp, just immensely strong pain that I had on my right side. So I figured, oh, it's probably just fatigue from, from dancing for a few hours. It's nothing, but it, it turns out that it actually was this tendon tear. 
Like I said, I walked into the office not even realizing that there was anything wrong with me, so when the surgeon was telling me that there's nothing I can do to fix it besides surgery, I was a little shocked, and we decided that since I'm not in immense pain, I didn't even know I had something wrong, that we can hold off with the surgery until, you know, I feel like that's the only option. There were complications from my first surgery. The, the cast was actually put on too tight at the end, um, which caused the top of my foot to suffer from lack of circulation. And so by the time the surgeon checked a couple of days later how the operation went, the entire top of my foot was rotted off. Not fun. So there are always complications. It's not just bada bing, bada boom, done, you're recovered. And so I was really, really hesitant to just jump into a surgery again, um, especially for something that I couldn't feel. So. I decided to get a second opinion from another sports medicine doctor and um, in the time in between that, I was also doing some research myself. Luckily, I've never had any tendon problems before, so I didn't need to, I mean, sorry, I didn't ever have to do research on it before. And so this was the first time I was really delving into the literature and I found out that if you pop off your Achilles tendon and you put it in a boot, right away. Uh, there's a specific angle to keep the tendons cl base close together in the ankle. People have successfully healed themselves from a completely torn Achilles tendon. And so that got me thinking that it, if they can heal a popped off Achilles tendon, I at least want to try a couple of methods of healing, namely rest, uh, to try to heal my torn FHL. So the actual tendon that is having problems is called the flexor halicus, halicus longus tendon, which I'll link the name right here. And it's a tendon that is running through the big toe up through the ankle into the calf muscle. And so it allows most people it allows every person <laughs> it allows every person to roll through their foot to go onto their toes but most dancers are actually utilizing this motion going onto the toes much more than the normal population so you don't really tend to see this type of injury in the normal population of people that are not dancers some sprinters some runners but it's really not as common as other tendon tears such as the achilles tendon tear or golfer's elbow stuff like that. So I've been doing my research, trying to figure out alternative therapies that I want to try. And with the direction of this new doctor, um, he told me to stay in a boot. I put myself in a surgical boot, the one from five years ago, so that I'm not changing um, and not rolling through the joint. Um, that's really giving it some rest and allowing the swelling to come down in the joint and uh, have a ton of other recommendations that I have uh, research that I'm utilizing and if you want to find out more about this particular tendon tear or how to take care of your feet with a tendon tear definitely subscribe my next few videos will be about this topic I'm going to go over what the FHL tendon does specifically and other non-surgical options treatments that I've been doing in order to try to repair the tendon without opting for surgery right away. I'm not saying that I'm never going to do surgery, but this is something that I want to try to delay and avoid if I can. And so I've been, you know, pouring through through the internet to see if there's other alternatives that I can try before going into this more invasive procedure. So if any of that sounds good to you, please be sure to subscribe. I will be posting more about this healing journey that now I have to embark on. Um, but I want to end on a good note that yay, my ankle hole is filled up and that's at least one good thing. So we're going to heal up the second uh, left ankle, keep the body happy and healthy and strong. So I'll see you next time. Bye.